Black Mirror Season 4 opener USS Callister sets up Robert Daly, creator of a multiplayer online video game Infinity, to be its hero. Derided by his company Infinity to become the captain of Star Trek-inspired USS Callister and get the respect he thinks he deserves from his co-workers. When Daly imprisons a copy of new programmer Nanette Cole with them, we learn the crew is actually composed of sentient clones made in punishment for perceived slights against Daly in the real world. At that moment, USS Callister reveals Cole as its protagonist and the true target of its critical gaze, post-Gamergate toxic white masculinity. The normally nihilistic Black Mirror suggests the possibility for radical change by allowing Cole to spearhead a triumphant escape in one of the show's few semi-positive endings. But in doing so, the episode embraces the white savior trope and white feminism, actually reinforcing white male hegemony. USS Callister is a textbook example of Matt Huey's definition of a white savior film, a genre in which a white person saves people of color from oppression in order to repair the myth of a great white father figure. USS Callister's crew is almost entirely crew members are given backstories and moments in which they fulfill the white savior's role. Walton, fueled by anger over Daly's murder of his son, dies for their freedom. More importantly, Cole serves as the impetus and mastermind behind their escape. Dudani, a talented coder in his own right, tells Cole she won't be able to hack the ship, as he's tried and failed before. Cole does it on the first try, inspiring their mutiny. Huey calls this the white savior saving grace, an inherent ability for transforming non-white mindsets from defeatism into a desire for freedom. This trope denies people of color any agency over their own and freedom, sets up a narrative and that ends with Cole as captain of the USS Callister, in a position of power over every non-white character in the episode. The episode portrays having a white woman in charge of Daly's world as an act of feminist defiance. For intersectional feminists, true freedom exists only when everyone is equal, but echoes of inequality in the feminist movement itself are present in the episode. Audrey Lord's uses of anger details how white feminist groups are permitted to express anger toward men, but black women's anger is silent lest they're helping someone else. Even then, they're seen as inhuman. This inequality is evident when Shania stands up for Cole after her first escape attempt is discovered. Daly turns Shania into a bug-like monster for her actions. These visions would deepen the episode's feminist project, but that would require USS Callister to examine contradictions of self, woman, as the oppressor, which it abandons in favor of a white feminist girl power message. And pairing the white savior narrative with critical race theory suggests that for all who has not escaped the hegemonic white male social order at all, Reland Rabaka writes about a similar issue in Du Bois' The Comet, which also deals with racism influence after the existing social order is wiped out. In both, white female characters shift from the eternal runner-up to head honcho racial ruler once white men are gone, due to endemic white supremacy. Thus, the white savior feminism of Black Mirror is just a variation on the theme of toxic masculinity. After all, the characters never leave Daly's game, just enter a different part of it. 